One of the most interesting things on our trip was the locks. On our two-week trip from Amsterdam to Budapest on the Viking River Cruise, we'll be passing through many different rivers, from the Rhine River to the Main River to the Danube River. And during that process, we will pass through many locks that will level the ship, given the different water levels in the different rivers we come in and out of. It's an incredible process to watch, and this video will explain it to you. On our trip from Amsterdam to Budapest, we will pass through 68 locks. This chart identifies each lock by name and kilometer mark along the river. The gray bar represents the elevation at which the ship will enter the lock. The red bar represents the height of the ship rises or lowers while in the lock. And the total height of the bar is the total elevation at the highest point of this process. One of the most interesting parts of our river cruise was in the rhine main danube Canal, which was finally completed in 1992. The government wants to add yet another lock between Regensburg and Passau, but construction has been stalled due to a combination of cost and environmental concerns. However, if and when it's constructed, this lock would prevent the low water conditions which have plagued the Danube this year, and we may get caught in it very shortly. The locks are needed for a variety of reasons. Low water, a stretch of rapids or rocks to allow the boat to move from a higher or lower water level or vice versa, or to get around the dam. Primitive locks aided European river travel for centuries. In the locks, the ship is either lifted up or down depending on the direction traveled. As we're heading towards Danube, our ship would first be lifted and then lowered to meet the level of the Danube. Our ship is 38 feet wide, and we noticed that piling her in the smallest locks was much like threading the eye of a needle. Very, very narrow and less than a foot on either side. It's not an easy task, and depending on who is piling in the boat, we at least one heard bumping noises as we entered the lock. This happened very seldom, however, as the skill of the pilot was amazing. The captain's very proud of his ship's appearance, and if the spark hell got a scrape, it was immediately touched up. There were always a number of passengers outside watching the process. The crew really earns their money at this time because they have to lug the heavy lines around the bollards and release them. And at every lock, the crew was always checking and make sure things were right. Once the ship was in the lock, and the doors were closed, they turned on the pumps. These pumps can pump in or out water equal to an Olympic-sized swimming pool in four seconds. As the water reached the top and they surrounded those circles with the perforations in it, that filled up with water and that door immediately started to drop. As it dropped, it had to get below the keel of the boat. When the locked door was sufficiently below the keel, the red light then turned green and we were allowed to proceed. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you get notified when the next video is posted. Thank you for watching.